This user guide video is to show accreditation bodies how to activate their account. Firstly, go to your inbox and check the email you've received from info at ifcertsearch.org. Click the Activate Account button. You'll be directed to the Terms and Conditions page. Read the Terms and Conditions, the Privacy Policy and Data Management provisions. Once you've read them, click each box and then click the Agree button to proceed. Enter your first and last name and create a password. The final step is to confirm your email address. Go back to your inbox and open the email. And click the confirm email button. Your account has now been activated. This is your dashboard area. The key aspects of your dashboard are certification bodies, standards and data management. Under certification bodies, you can view the certification bodies which have been uploaded. There's a user guide video and instructions on how to upload single certification bodies and edit. Likewise for standards, you can view the standards which have been uploaded under the accreditation body. There's a user guide video and instructions. If standards and schemes are not included in the library, you can add them before adding a standard. Data management. This is where you can upload data for certification bodies and standards in bulk, whether by file upload, FTP, API, this enables you to set up automatic data feeds. There's instructions and user guide videos and templates which will guide you through each process. Under accounts, you can create multiple accounts under the one accreditation body. In users, you can invite users under each account. The accreditation body profile is what will appear on the live I have cert search site for the accreditation body. Enter the information, including the office directory, and view how it will present under the live profile tab. Under settings, you've got user settings and account settings for the accreditation body. Under user guides, you've got detailed technical instructions and user guides for all aspects of iCert search. Under each process, it'll explain how it works and how to set it up. There will also be detailed videos for each section explaining how to operate that area.